Boy walks 15 miles to work until one day Boss follows him and sees why. As the shrill beep of the alarm pierced the stillness of the early morning, Alex stirred from his brief slumber. The clock read 3 a.m., a time when the world around him lay in deep silence, enveloped in the comfort of dreams. But for Alex, it was the call to begin his daily odyssey, a journey fueled not by choice but by necessity. The weight of his family's financial struggles pressed firmly on his shoulders, a burden he bore with a resilience born of love and desperation. With the quiet resolve of someone far beyond his years, Alex set about his preparations, dressing in layers to ward off the pre-dawn chill. Each step of his routine was marked by a contemplative silence, reflecting on the day ahead and the miles that lay between him and his workplace. The door closed softly behind him with a click, a sound that seemed to echo the finality of the challenge he faced each day. The first few miles unfolded under a blanket of darkness, the world around him a shadowy landscape illuminated only by the occasional street lamp. Despite the solitude and the whisper of the wind that sometimes felt like voices from another time, Alex's mind was alight with thoughts of his family. Each step was a testament to his determination, a silent promise to those he loved that he would not let their hardships define their futures. As the journey progressed, the darkness began to retreat, chased away by the first hints of dawn. But with the light came new challenges, the biting cold of the morning air, the unexpected downpour that made his clothes cling heavily to his skin, and the relentless ache in his muscles. Yet Alex's spirit remained undaunted. The vision of his family's smiles, the laughter that filled their modest home on the good days, it all fueled his resolve, pushing him forward when his body begged for rest. The road stretched endlessly before him, a path he had come to know intimately, marked by its imperfections and the milestones that signaled he was nearing his destination. Each landmark, a familiar tree, a turn in the road, the bridge that marked the halfway point, served as a beacon of progress, a reminder that no journey was too great when driven by love and the hope for a better tomorrow. In the solitude of his walk, Alex found a strength he never knew he had, a resilience forged in the quiet hours of the morning, walking a path lit by the promise of a brighter future. As dawn began to paint the sky with streaks of pink and orange, Mr. Thompson stood by the window of his office, his gaze lingering on the warehouse floor below. His attention was drawn to Alex, whose arrival, slightly out of breath and with the marks of a long journey evident in his disheveled appearance, did not go unnoticed. Despite this, Alex's dedication to his work, the way he threw himself into his tasks with unwavering commitment, was something Mr. Thompson couldn't help but admire. For weeks, Mr. Thompson had observed Alex's pattern of late arrivals, his clothing often bearing the evidence of a journey not suited to someone relying on public transport or a short walk. A nagging curiosity mixed with a growing concern took root in Mr. Thompson's mind. What drove Alex to push himself so hard? What circumstances led to his daily tardiness, yet allowed for such dedication once he was on the clock? Determined to uncover the answers, Mr. Thompson decided to follow Alex the next morning. As he trailed behind at a discreet distance, the world around them slowly woke up, oblivious to the silent drama unfolding in its midst. Mr. Thompson watched, incredulous, as Alex navigated through streets, over bridges, and along paths that seemed to stretch endlessly toward the horizon. The sheer physical distance covered on foot was astounding, a testament to Alex's resilience and silent sacrifice. Witnessing the lengths to which Alex went to fulfill his responsibilities, a profound sense of respect and empathy washed over Mr. Thompson. It was one thing to hear of such dedication, quite another to witness it with one's own eyes. The realization that Alex's late arrivals and untidy state were not a sign of negligence, but rather indicators of a deeper story of commitment and struggle struck a chord. Moved by what he had seen, Mr. Thompson retreated to the sanctuary of his office, his mind ablaze with thoughts on how to support Alex. 
ideas began to form, from practical solutions to ease Alex's daily commute to broader strategies to recognize and reward the hard work of all of his employees. In that moment, Mr. Thompson recognized the power of understanding and empathy, not just as a manager, but as a human being. He realized that true leadership meant lifting others up, acknowledging their struggles, and providing the support needed to overcome them. The journey he witnessed that morning not only changed his perception of Alex, it transformed his approach to leadership, grounded in the realization that empathy and support could make all the difference in someone's life. In the quiet before the warehouse buzzed to life with the day's labor, Mr. Thompson sought out Alex, his steps measured and purposeful. The young man, unaware of the silent observation he had been under, looked up in surprise as his boss approached. The atmosphere was charged with an unspoken anticipation, the early morning light casting long shadows across the concrete floor. Mr. Thompson, a man more accustomed to directives and deadlines than the delicate art of empathy, found himself uncharacteristically hesitant. However, the conviction of what he had witnessed, the undeniable proof of Alex's resilience and commitment, fortified his resolve. He extended an offer to Alex, his voice steady yet imbued with an emotion that surprised both of them. The offer was simple yet profound, a sustainable mode of transportation to ease the burden of Alex's daily journey. But more than that, Mr. Thompson unveiled plans for a community fund designed to support Alex's family, a gesture that went beyond the confines of employer-employee. It was a recognition of struggle, a hand extended in solidarity, and a promise of a community standing together. Alex, overcome by the generosity, found tears streaming down his face, a mixture of relief and gratitude washing over him. The gesture was more than just practical support. It was an acknowledgment of his hard work, an affirmation that his efforts had not gone unnoticed, and a lifeline thrown during his family's time of need. The news of Mr. Thompson's actions and the establishment of the fund spread like wildfire among the warehouse team. Inspired by Alex's story and moved by their boss's leadership, they rallied together, contributing what they could to the fund. The warehouse, once a place of individual toil, transformed into a community of support, where bonds strengthened by empathy and shared purpose replaced mere collegial relationships. Alex's story, echoing beyond the walls of the warehouse, ignited a wave of generosity and kindness throughout the community. Neighbors, local businesses, and strangers, touched by the tale of perseverance and solidarity, contributed to the fund, each donation a testament to the impact of collective compassion. In this moment of profound connection, the lines between boss and employee, between co-worker and friend, blurred. They were united by something far greater, a shared humanity and a commitment to uplift one another. Alex's journey, once a solitary endeavor, had become a beacon of hope and a reminder of the power of community, generosity, and the kind of kindness that transforms lives. From the moment Mr. Thompson's chose to shadow Alex on his early morning trek, the fabric of Alex's life began to weave into a new pattern. The generosity he received in response to his own steadfast dedication acted as a catalyst, transforming his daily trials into a narrative of hope and communal solidarity. No longer did he face the daunting walk to work. The path ahead now unfolded with opportunities, not just for himself, but for others within his reach. The provision of a bicycle, a symbol of the support garnered from his boss and peers, marked the end of an era of solitude and struggle. Yet it was the inception of something far greater, a sense of responsibility toward the community that had lifted him during his time of need. Motivated by a newfound purpose, Alex turned his attention to organizing community projects. These initiatives aimed at addressing the very hardships he had faced, offering assistance and resources to those who tread their own challenging paths. Alex's efforts quickly bore fruit, 
transforming vacant lots into community gardens, and establishing carpools to assist those without reliable transportation. Each project, rooted in the principle of mutual aid and kindness, drew in volunteers, creating a tapestry of support that stretched across neighborhoods. Alex, once solitary in his endeavors, now stood at the heart of a community united by a shared vision of upliftment and empathy. The ripple effects of Alex's journey and the communal response it inspired served as a vivid testament to the transformative power of kindness. Stories of his perseverance and the collective action it sparked circulated far and wide, igniting discussions about community, resilience, and the strength found in unity. His story became a beacon of hope for many, a reminder that within every challenge lies the potential for growth and the opportunity to foster a sense of belonging and support. The unfolding narrative, inspired by real-life acts of determination and compassion, underscored a profound truth. The impact of a single individual, when supported by a community, can transcend boundaries and change lives. It showcased the beauty of human connection and the endless possibilities that emerge when individuals come together in support of one another. Alex's journey, emblematic of both personal resolve and community strength, offered a powerful lesson in the significance of empathy, solidarity, and the collective capacity to catalyze change.